What up, YouTube? I go by the name of Smooth Lindo, and I'm here with my first YouTube video, man. Yeah, I said it, my first YouTube video. I'm excited. I hope y'all excited. If you're not excited, you're going to be excited. I got a whole lot of things coming for you guys. Just tune in. I got birthday vlogs, vacation vlogs, challenges, story time, anything you guys want, you name it, I got it. I'm bringing it. Today, I brought the questions and answer video. I figured that would be the good one for my first video because y'all could get to know me some. With these random questions that was asked by my fellow followers on Instagram. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all helped me get this video going and all that. Feel me? But I'm going to just jump right into it. I got like probably like 30 questions. We're going to start it off. With, of course, the question that everybody wants to know the answer to. I'm going to start it off like that. Are you single? Am I single? Don't listen to what I post on Instagram, man. I am single. I'm free. It's been two years. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm living my best life at this moment. How old are you? I'm 27 years old. I'll be 28 May 15th. May 15th, May 18th is a movie. I'm throwing a big party, but y'all gonna see that soon. When did you know you was gay? I knew I was gay, I, I'm guessing like, at like 14 with my first girlfriend. Um, Actually, it was in high school, freshman year high school. She came on to me actually, and um, yeah, from there on out, it was it. So, how old were you when you had your first girl-on-girl -girl experience? My first girl-on-girl -girl experience, I was 14. That was the same time, you know, I got with the first girl in high school. And it was crazy. My first experience was kind of crazy because we was actually um, in the girl's house. It was after school. I told my mom I was going to hang out with some friends. And um, I actually went to her house and... Yeah, my first experience happened, and in the mid of it happening, her mom walks in the room. That was, like, so embarrassing, because it was, like, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know, like, we didn't know if it was right. We didn't know what was going on, but, yeah, I was 14, man. What's your type? My type. Um, A lot of people that know me say I have a specific type. But me personally, like, I can agree and then I could disagree. I'm more off, like, I'm more off, like, I go off your vibe. Like, I'm more of a vibe person. So, what's your longest relationship and what did you like and did not like about it? Um, My longest relationship was three years. And I'm not saying no names, so if y'all watching, y'all not worry. It was three years, and what did I like about it? It was like, she was like my best friend at the same time. So I'm a spontaneous person. She was spontaneous. I'm adventurous. She was adventurous. So it was pretty cool because everything worked out, you know. It was like, that was that was my best friend. That was my homie. Um, What I didn't like about it probably was her attitude. Have you ever turned out a straight girl? Have I ever turned out a straight girl? Yes, plenty of times I have. Um, majority of women I talk to, majority of women I date are straight women. How does that work, man? Look, I don't know. At this point, I don't even know. Y'all gotta ask them how that works. I'm just here. Do all your tattoos have meanings? Yes, majority of them do from what I can tell you guys. Um. A lot of them, yes, a lot of them do have meanings. Do you have any tattoos you regret? I don't regret anything that I've done in the past. So, because I feel like, you know, at that moment, that's what you wanted to do. So why regret it if you wanted it then and there? But would I have thought twice, me being me now? Yeah, I would have. But regret, I, I can't really say. When people look at you, what is one thing you think they automatically assume? Of course, everybody I come across, everybody I come encounter with, 
they just assume that Once I have a whole time, like bunch of females behind out. me or I'm like I'm texting a whole bunch of females and things back, like that but this shit, I was a that's that's and not I'm even the case I'm the total opposite I don't have any of that behind me what's the biggest lesson life has taught you the biggest lesson life taught me was to keep grinding, keep pushing, don't give up. No matter how bad your situation is, don't give up. There's always somebody with a worse situation than you. So it's like, just, just keep pushing. Have you ever lost someone close to you? Passed away? Yes, I have. Um, I've lost plenty of people. One year I had about seven people pass away. My closest, closest friend death was right here. Big money Zion, this tattoo here, Zion, RP Zion, man. Um, that one hit home. That was like I grew up with him. I was I used to hang out with this kid all the time. Like, that was my little brother, like. But you know, God had different plans, man. But how many times have you been heartbroken? I've been heartbroken, truly heartbroken, I've been heartbroken twice. Both times that I fell in love. And at this point I just feel like that's until you find that person that you're going to be with for, I guess, forever or that long that long run, you're going to get heartbroken in depending on how deep you fall in these relationships till you get to that person. What would be your warning label if every person was required to have one? <laughs> if I needed a warning label, um, it would probably say anti at your own risk. Why? I don't really, like, and at your own risk. Like, dealing with, if you talking for this label, like, in a relationship-wise, it's and at your own risk. Being because I could be a brat, I could be, you know, I could be all types of things, you should not be able to deal with me. In the shower, do you have concerts? No, I'm not a shower singer. I probably would sound horrible <laughs> if I even tried, but... No, I'm not a shower singer. What is one thing you love and admire about yourself? One thing I love and admire about myself physically, um, physically is my smile. Emotionally and mentally, just the person I am, I guess. Do you ever think you broke someone's heart? Um... Have I broken someone's heart? Yeah, I did. I did. It wasn't intentionally, of course. Things happen. But yeah, I think I did. And that's where everything went down the drain. Things happen. What's the biggest lie someone has ever told you? The biggest lie someone has ever told me was, I got you. Don't tell me you got me. I'm going to do for myself. I'm, I don't like asking for help. I don't need any help. I got you, that just, nobody ever falls through, so. What is something you wish people would stop asking you? Something I wish people would stop asking me is about my tattoos while I'm at the club. Please, that's like so irritating, guys. Y'all don't understand, like, I'll come and the bottle girl will come in with a bottle, I'm ready to pop the bottle, get a drink, and here comes someone wanting to know about my tattoos. Whether it's my neck tattoo, my arms, my whatever the case may be, is like by the end of the night, I already have promoed my tattoo artist like the whole night. So I'm pretty sure like everyone goes probably, you know, asking him questions and stuff like that. But that's like something you guys need to stop asking me, please. At least in the middle of the club. Have you ever been with someone who was actually more aggressive than you? More aggressive than me, I would say. I don't, I don't, I don't know, cause I don't think I'm that aggressive. Like when it comes to a female, I have the little, you know, the little soft spot there. I do have a little sister, so I do have that little soft spot. But as aggressive of me, um, probably. I I think I have. Um. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like more aggressive, like with the same matching attitude and same. Yeah, yeah, I think I have. Um, do guys ever try to talk to you? Listen, right now, no guy has ever tried to talk to me as of right now. Back then, probably a couple years ago, yeah, they've tried it. 
please stop. <laughs> you guys are on your Kodak Black stuff. You gotta chill. Just don't don't come this way. What makes you feel old? What makes me feel old is when I'm at work and certain employees are in their teens. Some are under 25. So they make me feel old. Certain conversations we have, certain... um. You know, just things we talk about, they'll just be like, what, who, where, when was that? Like, it's just like, what, you never knew about, whatever. If you could pick a place to travel right now, where would you go? If I could pick any place to travel right now as we speak, like book the next flight, it would be to Dubai. Why? Because that's just something out of the ordinary. That's just something, sounds interesting, sounds, sounds cool. I have actually a couple of friends that have been out to Dubai. And, you know, they got the pictures with the camels and the that's that's all cool. Dressed up, things like. Do that. you want kids? Or are you going to carry them? Do I want kids at this moment? I'm good on the kids. I'm not physically, mentally, emotionally stable for kids right now. Like, I just have a lot of things I want to accomplish within myself and in my life before I could think about bringing in another life to join me. So I wouldn't put a child here to suffer with me. I could just do this by myself right now and have them good, you know, when the time comes or whatever. But would I carry them? It's like the question of the hour. Would I carry them? Um, Honestly speaking, no, I wouldn't want to carry the kid. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of reasons why. Like, I don't like pain. It might sound crazy. You guys see all these tattoos and things. But that's like a certain pain. Like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to do the belly thing. Like, that's just, mm, that's just something I'm not feeling. Does my mom want me to have a kid? Yes, of course. Every mom wants their daughter to have a child. Um, to make her happy, I always said if it came down to it, I would. Like I said right now, if it came down to it, I would have to think really hard about it, mom. Sorry. But right now, I'm not carrying no kids. I'm not having no kids. Nah. Do you prefer clingy or a girl with space of living? Um, honestly, before if you would have asked me this question, like three or four years ago, I would say clingy. Now I would say in between with both. Like we both need space, but we both could be clingy at the same time with the space. Has anyone ever walked out of your life and you regretted it? Walked out of my life as in me not doing anything to cause it? No, I don't really, I don't really think so. I can't recall anybody walking out and I, I mind it. But as of something like a situation that happened that shouldn't have happened and that caused the separation, yes. Um, yeah, I've been in a situation where the person walked out because of the situation and things could have changed, but like I said, man, things happen. What food can you eat often and not get tired of? Um, Taco Bell. I could eat Taco Bell and not get tired of it. If you're talking fast food, if you're talking at home food, Spanish food, like beef stew, I, I could eat that and not get tired of it. Outside fast food, Taco Bell, definitely. A number seven, <laughs> quesadillas, man. Taco Bell is the way to go. Whoever don't like Taco Bell is crazy. Thank you guys for sticking through, man. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, y'all got to know me a little bit. Those are some questions that was given to me from y'all on Instagram. Shout out to all of y'all that helped me out with those questions. And please go subscribe. Press that button, man. Subscribe to my channel now. Like, comment, share. Y'all know the vibes, man. Smooth Lindo, tell a friend to tell a friend I'm on YouTube, man. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Pick it up, not break that shit down. Break it down. Speed it up, not slow that shit down.